I had actually, my career path, I wanted to be an animator. And I studied animation at CalArts. And um, straight out of school, went to work as a, as a Disney animator, which was great. Um, found there's, there's a personality type. You got, there's a certain type of solitarity for that work. That you've got to be discomfortable sitting at a desk and drawing. This was back in the 2D animation. Days. You sit and draw and draw and draw. Uh, maybe some interaction with the director, maybe some interaction with the layout artist or whatever. Um, but like Joe was just saying, I, you know, you got to love people to do this job. And I always loved the energy of being with people growing up. I'm a big Italian family. There's always, you know, lots of people around. And um, I was working actually on some small films for Epcot. I was still in feature animation and got to know Tony, because um, it was for uh, Journey Through Imagination. I was doing um, animating some of the pigment stuff. It was 2D animation. That was part of it. And uh, yeah, I, got, I did a lot of quirky, weird little animation things that ended up in the parks, which was awesome. So I, I met a number of Imagineers. And the energy that I got when I, I went to Imagineering and saw how collaborative it was, um, how, how you know, the, the story guys were there, along with the guy that was going to be building the whatever. And I said, like, wow, this seems like it's really a lot of fun. And then it just so happened that um, we were going through a strange time in animation, which I won't get into that. Uh, it was kind of the transition from the old guard to the new guard. Um, and so I had been talking to Tony about you know, some of my frustrations. And he said, you know, he says, you should put a portfolio together and come over and you know, show it around. And uh, Tony was great and took it into Marty. And it was literally a week later, I walked from across the street to Future Animation. They'd been exiled from the studio to a, a warehouse across from Imaginary, which was an unreasonable point, which I won't get into. And, uh, oh, you could. <laughs> it was pretty low morale at that time. But so I just literally, on Friday, I packed up all my stuff from my animation desk. And, walked across the street and they gave me a piece of plywood sitting next to Joe Rohde who had, was covered with props who was building the, um, the Adventurers Club. I go, this is cool! <laughs> and I never looked back. Tom, you would start out